In this video, you'll learn how to create a voicemail box on an extension, log in to a voicemail box from a telephone set, use the user portal to access voicemail and other features. To create a voicemail box for a user's extension, from the system dashboard, select PBX. Select an extension. We'll use LabPhone 5021. Scroll down to the voicemail section and enable the voicemail. You'll see the default password is 829 plus the extension number. It is highly recommended you change the voicemail password. Normally, the user would do this. It is also recommended not to use just the extension number as the voicemail password. However, for this video, that is exactly what we're going to do. If you would like to get the voicemail messages on the user's email address, put in the user's email address. And select Submit. And Apply. Now let's go back down to the voicemail section. Now you'll see these fields are available for selection. If you would like the user to get the actual voicemail message in their email, you would select Yes. If you would like them to just get a notification that they have a voicemail in their email, you would select No. So we'll select Yes. You can select whether you'd like the caller ID information played, the message envelope played, Select whether you would like the voicemail to be deleted once it's heard and whether you would like them to have instant access to their voicemail box without submitting their password. For security purposes, it's highly recommended that you leave this set at no. When you've made your selections, scroll down, select submit, and apply. You've now configured the voicemail box. Let's look at checking the messages on the Nortel 1230 IP phone. Notice there's a red LED indicator of a message, a display that says one new message, and a message soft key that says voice message on the phone. There's also a message button to the right of the phone and you may also use feature 981 to log in. For the purpose of the video, we'll use the voice message soft key. You'll be prompted to enter your password. Password. You have one new message. Press 1 for new messages. Press 2 to change folders. Press 3 for advanced options. Press 0 for mailbox options. Press star for help or number sign to exit. The voicemail prompts will guide you through listening to the message and other mailbox options. When you've finished your voicemail session, press goodbye. The user portal is a web-based GUI that allows the users to log in and check their voicemail from the web interface plus some additional features. To log in to the user portal, type in the IP address of the UCX forward slash recordings. You'll be brought to this screen where you'll log in with your voicemail box and password. Select Submit. Here you'll see that there is a voicemail message in the mailbox for LabPhone 5021. The options are to play it on the computer speakers or play it on the phone, or you can download the message and save it for archival purposes. Additional features in the user portal are Call Monitor, which lets you have a CDR record of calls that are made to your telephone set. This can be useful if you're trying to look up a number of someone who called you.
the time they called, and the date they called. The Follow Me feature allows you to enable and disable the Follow Me of the set. Here you'll put in the Follow Me list of the destinations that you would like an incoming call to ring to. Your set will always be in the list. To add additional, such as an external number, type in the number in this case, we'll use 9 for an access code, and we'll put in the telephone number. It is very important that you put a pound at the end of the external destination number. Then select Update. When someone places a call to your set, it will ring your set and it will also ring this external number. The phone features will allow you to turn your call waiting or do not disturb on or off and whether you want to screen your calls. You can also do an unconditional call forwarding and put a destination you would like all of your calls to go to here, whether it's unconditional or unavailable or busy. The settings tab will allow you to change your voicemail password, your email destination, and whether you want to attach the voicemail message to your email and whether you would like to delete the voicemail after the message has been emailed. Your call me number, which is normally your set number, and the audio format. The default is WAVE, but there are other options as well. You can also, on your telephone, select whether you would like the caller ID or envelope information to be played. To log out, select Log Out. That's a brief overview of the user portal. Please consult the documentation for further details.